Diarrhea is when you have frequent and liquid bowel movements. Many things can cause it, including viruses, bacteria, and parasites. Medicines such as antibiotics, lactose intolerance, fructose or artificial sweeteners, digestive disorders such as celiac disease or irritable bowel syndrome. It is a common condition that most of the time doesn't require treatment. It usually lasts only a couple of days, whether you treat it or not. But medicine can help you feel better. It especially helps if you also have cramping or stomach pain. What's up, fellow human? I'm Joshua, and this is the Stomach Health Channel, where I'm going to discuss different facts, remedies, and such about your gut. Now, let's get on with the video. What types of OTC medicines treat diarrhea? You can buy over-the-counter OC, medicines without a prescription from your doctor. Some OTC medicines can help you feel better if you have diarrhea. These are called antidiarrheal medicines. Antidiarrheal medicines include Lopramide, one brand name, Imodium, Bismuth subsalicylate, two brand names, Caepectate, Peptobismol. Bismuth subsalicylate can also be used for an upset stomach. Path to improved wellness. How do OTC antidiarrheal medicines work? Lopramide slows down how fast things move through your intestines bowels. This allows more fluid to be absorbed into your body. This helps you have less diarrhea and more formed stools. Bismuth subsalicylate balances the way fluid moves through your intestines. It reduces inflammation. It keeps bacteria and viruses that cause diarrhea from growing in the stomach and intestines. How do I safely take OTC antidiarrheal medicines? Before you take an OTC antidiarrheal medicine, read the directions on the drug facts label. This will tell you how much medicine to take and how often to take it. If you have any questions, call your family doctor or pharmacist. Keep a record of which OTC medicines you are using and when you take them. If you need to go to the doctor, take this list with you. Well, what do you think about these? Have you experienced this or tried some? Comment down below your experiences. And if you think these are useful, a like and subscribe would be really awesome for the growth of my channel. And also, don't forget about the bell icon below. Let's get it on. Follow these tips to make sure you are taking the right amount of medicine. Take only the amount recommended on the medicine's label. Don't assume that more medicine will work better or quicker. Taking more than the recommended amount can be dangerous. If you take prescription medicine, ask your doctor if it's okay to take OTC antidiarrheal medicine. Don't use more than one OTC antidiarrheal medicine at a time unless your doctor says it's okay. They may have similar active ingredients. These could add up to be too much medicine. How can I safely store OTC antidiarrheal medicines? Store all medicines up and away, out of reach inside of young children. Keep medicines in a cool, dry place. This will help prevent them from becoming less effective. Do not store medicines in bathrooms or bathroom cabinets. They are often hot and humid. Things to consider. Healthy adults usually don't experience side effects from antidiarrheal medicines, but side effects may be a concern if you are older or have health problems. Call your doctor if you notice any side effects. Lopramide side effects may include abdominal pain, constipation, dizziness, nausea, or vomiting. Bismuth subsalicylate side effects may include constipation, blackened stools, and slash or tongue, ringing sound in the ear, called tinnitus. Who shouldn't take OTC antidiarrheal medicines? Don't take antidiarrheal medicines if bacteria or parasites are causing your diarrhea. If you have a stomach bug, your body needs to get rid of the bacteria or parasite that is causing the diarrhea. Stopping the diarrhea in this case can actually make your condition worse. Talk to your family doctor if you think you have a bacterial or parasitic infection. Don't give lopramide to children two years of age or younger unless your doctor says it's okay. Check with your doctor before using lopramide for older children as well. You shouldn't take lopramide if you have a fever. Don't use it if you've ever had a rash or an allergic reaction after taking it. Don't take lopramide if you have bloody or black stools. These may be signs of a more serious problem, such as a bacterial infection. Some people are allergic to aspirin or other salicylate medicines. They should not take bismuth subsalicylate. Don't give bismuth subsalicylate to children 12 years of age or younger. Don't give it to children or teenagers who may have the flu or chickenpox. This increases the risk for Ray syndrome. This is a serious illness that can lead to death. Can OTC antidiarrheal medicines cause problems with other medicines I take? Taking certain medicines with antidiarrheal medicines can increase your risk for side effects. 
Bismuth subsalicylate also may affect some medicines, causing them not to work as well. Ask your doctor before taking lopramide or bismuth subsalicylate if you also take antibiotics, antiviral medicines for human immunodeficiency virus (HIV), prescription pain medicines, blood thinning medicines, medicines for gout, medicines for arthritis, medicines for diabetes. Also ask your doctor before taking bismuth subsalicylate if you take pain relievers or cold medicines. These medicines may contain aspirin, which is a salicylate. You may get too much salicylate if you take more than one of these medicines at a time. It's a literal pain in the ass when you have diarrhea, pun unintended. But I might have here a medicine that may help you with it. And no, it's not a sponsored post. It's just an affiliate link where I get a commission if you buy this product using my link in the description. It would really help me if you would do this, but I won't force you. This is Imodium, and I'm sure you've heard of it. It's of course a diarrhea relief medicine, and don't just take my word for it. Look at these 6,000 five-star reviews on Amazon, not to brag, but it has faster effectiveness than Pepto-Bismol in diarrhea. It's also the number one doctor-recommended OTC diarrhea treatment. If you're interested, just click the link at under this description. What do you think about these information? Do you think it's useful? If it is, support this channel by giving it a like and subscribe. And also don't forget to click the notification bell for more interesting facts like these.